Mr. Ng, please. Colleagues, dear teachers, and if there are parents here, dear parents, and dear students, I'm delighted to be here this afternoon to join all of you. The NSG marks the start of the school sports season for both our primary and secondary schools. And sports have come a long way since our founding of our country and when the Games started. All the way back in 1959, the schools in Singapore started to come together to form the Singapore Combined School Sports Council for the secondary schools and the Singapore Primary School Sports Council for the younger students. The principals and teachers then wanted to achieve three things. One, to integrate our students through sports participation. Two, to develop our students' sporting skills and interests. And three, to hone our students' talents in the fields of sports. They started off humbly by organizing competitions for 10 sports only for the secondary schools and only five sports for the primary school students. They did this through their own effort by volunteering their time and school resources. They became the empires, they became the coaches, and students were roped in to be the linesmen, the scorers, and the runners. They took turns to run the inter-school competitions for the schools in the various levels of activities. 59 years have since passed, and I'm glad to see the exact same spirit in our school communities where now we come together to provide opportunities to develop our students' sporting talents, interests, character, and this drive remains very strong in our school system today. I'm happy to see that. Today, our schools, our principals, our head of departments, our teachers still offer in the same manner their time, the resources, and the efforts. The big difference is that now we organize more than 400 championships across 29 sports for our students annually. Last year, more than 58,000 of our school athletes benefited from these efforts. While the scale and the complexity of the NSG have increased tremendously, our schools and MOE's efforts have also grown manifold. We have been constantly reviewing and implementing new ideas to enhance the learning and the sporting experiences for all our students. Today, our principals and teachers want to do two interrelated things to provide quality competition experience for our school athletes and to develop character through the pursuit of sporting excellence. I would like to commend all our school leaders, our teachers, for the good work and commitment and for their voluntary service as conveners and other important roles in the two sports councils. Guided by the motto of character in sporting excellence, all of you have worked together with your colleagues, whether in HQ or in the schools, to create that vibrant and meaningful school sporting platform on which our students build their character and strive towards their sporting aspirations. Today, I may be a minister, but 30-something years ago, I was a student, just like many of you in this sports hall. And in my entire education experience, I played table tennis, I swam, I wasn't good enough for competition in the secondary schools, but in JCs, I also took part in Taekwondo in the national uh, schools levels. All this contribution tremendously to the overall education experience I had. So your work, teachers, school leaders, go a long way. Let's make sure we continue to put this equal emphasis on both academics and non-academics. And I'm happy to see today that we have talented teachers in the sports. We can tap on their expertise to benefit students across Singapore, not just in their school specifically. Our schools have been big-hearted and generous. They have given time for their staff and teachers who have the passion and the expertise in any particular sport to volunteer their time and serve as technical members of the NSG organizing committees. Their contributions and service 
extend beyond sports that their schools are competing in. Mr. Muhammad Hafiz, a teacher at Northview Primary School, is one such example. He coaches his school's floorball team and he has represented the Singapore's main national floorball team at various international competitions. Till today, he continues to play in the Singapore Floorball League. At the ripe old age of 34, now that he's a father, he tells me that his body is catching up with him, but he wants to continue to serve in this area. So he's serving in the technical committee for floorball with the blessing of his school. So thank you, Northview, for allowing this to happen. At present, the committee is reviewing how they can change the competition for students in Primary 3 to Primary 5 so that we can allow for a more meaningful learning and competition experience. When I met Mr. Hafiz, he shared with me with great excitement his involvement in the review, which would see beginning players competing in three versus three player formats with two pairs of goalposts without goalkeepers attending to the goalposts. He tells me that this format of play for beginning players is useful for developing players' sense of depth and width, which are critical skills for a floorball player. The review committee is also implementing a three-tier competition where players will be grouped into teams with comparable skills after an initial classification competition. As a result, students, including substitute players, will have more playing time with more chances of experiencing small successes to encourage them along the way. Hafiz is not alone in his work. I understand some 50 teachers and school staff have also been cooperated into the various technical committees in the Primary Schools Council to support the review of the junior division competitions. The review of the junior competitions seeks to design competitive experiences that are developmentally more appropriate for young children competing in a former inter-school competition for the first time by strengthening the fundamental skills and cultivating the joy of playing sports. The various organising committees for all 21 sports organised by the SPSSC will be working with the stakeholders, including the National Sports Associations, the National Youth Sports Institute and our schools to trial and implement the respective new competitions for NSG sports in the primary schools over the next three years. I look forward to seeing these important changes that support the development of our young athletes, especially in reducing the perceived stakes of competitions at a young age and instilling a growth mindset in our students through sports. I commend the schools for sharing your expert human resources beyond your own schools over and above your current work of organising the NSG for important work such as this. Amidst all the vibrancy of play and exciting changes, remember, fundamentally, we want to build our students' character through such experiences. I met Nicolette Tan just now. She is the captain of Unoya JC's badminton team. She tells me that she picked up badminton in primary school and pursue the sport with diligence and commitment and her efforts have paid off because she has reached a level where she has represented our Singapore schools in the ASEAN school games over the last three years and they have done very well and have flown our flag high. But her discipline and efforts went beyond sport. Nicolette tells me that she is a member of a school students' council, excels in her studies, and she has won also many biology competitions and have also represented Singapore at the International Biomedical Quiz. I also understand that Nicolette will be leading in the oath-taking today. I think sport has played a big part in the upbringing, in moulding Nicolette into what she is today, exemplifying the discipline the tenacity, the persistence needed to do well in badminton, and this has also translated into uh, other endeavours. She says, and I quote, sport has moulded me into the person I am today. It taught me how life isn't always smooth sailing, and most setbacks actually make you stronger. 
He has also taught me that the quote, 1% talent and 99% perspiration does not apply only in sport, but also in every aspect of your life. This is coming from an 18-year-old young lady. And I'm sure the combination of sport and her academic learning will augur her well for life. Sport indeed would do much for our students at the individual character building, but it can also build and foster nationhood through imbuing common values that define Singapore in our students, developing in our students a deep sense of belonging to Singapore and establishing strong ties across students of all races, all schools, and all social backgrounds. For the younger Singaporeans here, and for the ones that are about my age, who can forget 1994, when just across the street, Singapore beat Pahang 4-0 and won the Malaysian Cup. It drew Singaporeans together in a way they have not seen except for 2015, at the passing of Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. 1994, I recall, the streets were empty, all Singaporeans were glued to their TV, and we cheered for Singapore. Sport has that power to bring people together. So I'm glad we are continuing with this emphasis in MOE. And last year, in the very same halls that we are in today, MOE hosted the ninth ASEAN Schools Games, where our schools put up an incredible showing. Our principals, teachers, and school staff served tirelessly as liaison officers, competition officials, and in various other capacities to run the games for student athletes for all 10 ASEAN countries. Our guests were mightily impressed with all that we did. We displayed the Singapore spirit and took pride in playing hosts and supporting regional school sport activities. Today, your presence in this ceremony, whether as a student representative, a teacher from a primary or secondary school, JC or centralised institution, signifies our collective commitment towards school sports. In closing, let me once again express my deep appreciation for the good work of the two sports councils, the dedication and service of our principals, HODs, teachers in charge, HU officers, coaches, officials, and the support of our parents and partners. To all our student athletes, I wish you all an enriching and fruitful National School Games. Thank you.